Well, thank you, Chet. I'm honored to be here with all of you, and let me just uh, offer my heartiest congratulations to our award recipients uh, tonight, and thanks to all of you and for the Board of Trustees that make this event possible. I know it's always an honor for me to come here and participate as we recognize those who've done so much for our community. I, I certainly want to uh, recognize that the Utah Technology Council and the work that it does is now assisting more than 5,000 high-tech, clean tech and life science companies that represent approximately 10% of our workforce out there in Utah today. I'm reminded of the statement by Peter Drucker who said this, whenever you see a successful business, someone once made a courageous decision. We have entrepreneurs here and throughout the audience who've made courageous decisions with that risk-reward opportunity that comes in our free market system and have made uh, Utah a very successful state economically. If you notice the uh, uh, recognition we received here just a week ago from Forbes magazine that named us the best state in America for business again. That's five out of the last six years. We're building a dynasty here in Utah. The U.S. Chamber of Commerce has said that the uh, the fundamentals are more sound in Utah economically than any state in America today. So that means our, not only are we doing good now, but our future uh, is good as we look forward. And that's resulted in us having, for the eighth consecutive month now in Utah, the highest private sector growth rate of any state in America as we create private sector jobs. And our growth rate is at 4.4%, more than double the national average today. <clears throat> Now let me just make, if I can, again, it's, uh, we have a great state and, and all of you are part of the success uh, we call this Utah phenomenon that's taking place, but let me make one observation. I appreciate the entrepreneurs, the risk takers, the wealth creators, those who create jobs and improve people's lives. We sometimes forget the benefit that comes, not just the economic opportunity, uh, but the, in fact the benefit to people's lives. And uh, <clears throat> I'm just going to read here, uh, as we look back at the past 100 years, The Economist magazine said this. In the 20th century, America led in virtually everything. Growth, productivity, and income. New products and new processes, applying new ideas first and most effectively. They went on to say, to, we today are healthier, we live longer, we are richer, we can afford to purchase more things, we have better jobs at better pay, we have more time and money for recreation, sports, the arts. We have bigger and better homes. We are at much less risk of catastrophic accidents. We breathe cleaner air and drink safer water. The list could go on and on. Time magazine, Walter Isaacs, and you might know the famous author, said this. If you were to describe the century's geopolitics in one sentence, it could be a short one. Freedom won. Free minds and free markets prevailed over fascism and communism. The unique American form of individual liberty and free enterprise has cultivated risk-taking, experimentation, innovation, and scientific exploration on a grand scale that has never occurred anywhere in the world. I hope as we celebrate tonight our award recipients, the entrepreneurs of our community that's made uh, Utah's economy uh, the best in America today, one of the best in the world today, we don't forget the system that's made this all possible our free enterprise, free market system, where liberty and freedom prevail, coupled with individual response, it gives us all the opportunity. I'm proud to know that upward mobility is better in Utah than any place in America today because of work like you and what you stand for here at UTC. So uh, keep up the good work. God bless you. It's great to be number one. Thank you very much.